Are you born? Good morning from the beautiful Temple of the Two here in Sri Lanka. A very important religious and cultural site, especially for people of the Buddhist faith. Now this temple has been around since the 1500s and in fact this city where I am was actually the capital city of the last royal monarchy here in Sri Lanka. This city has been known for its royal dynasties since the 1500s so it's very important and historical here in Sri Lanka. Now today is a holiday known as the full moon for a day so I'll be going in and checking out the vibe here at this important religious and cultural site. Right, so this is the entrance for foreigners where I am here in the temple and we're gonna go in and see what it's like. How is the ceremony going on? Okay, let's go. So the ceremony is happening right now and we're gonna go and have a look at that right now. Downstairs, okay. Gotta go upstairs also. Gotta take your shoes to get in, guys. Are you going? Oh, you have to have a dinner. Are you going? 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 What's this place here? Buddha and Jun. Up there. Upstairs. Up here, Goria. Okay. So this is like the place where the tomb of Buddha is. Right here. And we usually have to go upstairs. So many people here, guys. It's a very important religious um, ceremony here today. A lot of people are coming out with the lotus flower, which is a... Uh, well, a devotee. A devotees, yeah. Okay. And the lotus flower is a symbol of... Sri what? Lankan national flower. Okay. So the lotus flower is the Sri Lankan national flower, guys. Okay. Two types of decoration more. Yeah. Bottom decoration we are calling water waves. Water waves, okay. You have any idea on top of that? Wow. No. N yeah. 
Top one we are calling sky the cloud wave. All right. Mm. Understand? Understand, yeah. Better one, water wave, top one, cloud wave. Right, right. How nice. Yeah, yeah. But the guy, you know yeah, me. yeah, yeah. So basically, the, the bottom ones is like the water, wave. water waves. It represents the wave. And then the, the higher ones that you can see here is considered the cloud waves. Correct. Yeah, so that's very interesting the way they've incorporated almost like the, uh, the earth's element and also the heavenly element here with the cloud waves. So that's interesting. Thank you so much. There are many holes inside. Can you see? Yeah, I can see. When we light in the oil lamp, keep inside. Can we go closer? When you go to inside, Lighting inside, yeah, very nice illuminated at night time. At night time, wow. But the windy, the protect. Yeah. Windy, wind, windy time. Yeah. They are protected from the windy because they keep inside, you know. Okay. They protect from the windy. Okay. So guys, what you're seeing here is where they can put the candles. Okay. And it, it, he's saying at night it looks really lovely. It's really amazing. And the good thing about it is how it's designed, when there's a lot of wind, the candle wouldn't, wouldn't be put out because it's protected by these arch in here. So it looks really nice and illuminated at night. So that's really interesting and cleverly designed to protect the candles from the wind here at the temple. So that's interesting. Okay. Can you tell me a sentence which has all the 26 letters in English alphabet? Um, you tell me, sir. We like to know. Yeah. Yeah, welcome. You know, go home, don't, don't forget me. Okay. Quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Quick brown, brown fox, fox jumps, jumps over, over, there, over there. Over there. Lazy dog. Okay. So quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog it is in there yeah and uh, that has all the the full letters of the english alphabet in english that sentence yeah. so that's interesting we learn something new every day thank you sir <laughs> yeah i didn't know that one all right so let's teacup mm -hmm. which side the handle the teacup yeah the handle the handle's on the right side try again um the left side Try again. <laughs> Tell me. Like you know. Yeah. Teacup handle is the outside. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, you hear that, guys? So you asked me which side of the tea, um, cup is the handle, and I said the right side. He said to me, no, it's the outside. So that's interesting. This is an elephant here. So how is my connection with you? Yeah, it's good, it's good, it's good. And this is the the lake inside here by the temple. All right. Uh, thank you, thank you. When you come on, you do nothing. Yeah, yeah. You, you know a lot about the history of the place. So... This uh, is the place, last king's bathing place. There's a pond inside. The last king's bathing place. Wow. Inside the pond. Okay, and what's the king's name? Raja Singh. Raja Singh. Three Vikram Raja Singh is last name. Okay. That time no building. Only yeah. pond is there. Pond. Wow. Still there. Okay. So the last king, Raja Tinga, this right here is his last um, Babafin place. Yeah. All right. So when you go to the center, you can see like this. Okay. Do like that. Okay? Yeah. So, so could, you, could you tell me what, what, what is this place upstairs here? What, what's happening here? The Buddha tooth deposit over there. Okay. Buddha teeth. Buddha teeth deposit over there. It's in there? It's there, so people go to worship. Okay. So what we're seeing over there, guys, that is actually the part where the Buddhist teeth is, right in there. Okay. Alright. So, literally, literally, where you see everyone stand, standing there, 
that is inside where the tooth of Buddha is. That's what they're saying here in the temple. They're saying his tooth, his tooth, sorry, his tooth. One is in there. And now I can see a bit of gold and different things inside there. So you can't actually go right in, but you can stand by the door and see it from there. So this is what it's like in here. So this is all the offerings people will be bringing for the Buddha here. So these are the lotuses, there's also rice and the lotus flower and everything like that. People are bringing, this is where they bring the offering here. All right. All right, so we're going back down, guys. So you can see, this is a very important religious site for people of the Buddhist faith. And you can see there are a lot of people there. So much people are bringing flowers, people are bringing rice and different things like that. So that's something that we learn every day. We learn something new every day. So very interesting culture here. You see the seal is Bunimar. Yeah. He's the first Prime Minister of Sri Lanka. We got the independence of the British. Okay. We are calling father of the nation. What's his name was? D.S. Nanayaka. Don Stephen C. Nanayaka. Mm -hmm. We are calling father of the nation. Father of the nation, okay. So that's the statue of the first Prime Minister of Sri Lanka. All right, so his name was Donala Sanaika. Dali Sanaika, the relation. Okay, all, all right. In the garden we are calling, Child Hero Mandma Bandara mm -hmm. Memorial Garden. Okay. I saw now Child Hero statue over there. Okay. He's nine years old. You mentioned this place now, Child Hero. Mm -hmm. Memorial Garden, come on. Okay, all right, so that's him here. The hero of the nation, that's a uh, statue of him here. All right, so let's go. You know about the flag? No, no. Would you I, like to know? Yeah, I would like to know about the flag, sure. Are you sure? I will kill you. Here's a flag of Buddhist. Oh, it's a Buddhist flag? Buddhist flag. Okay. Here's a child hero. Nine years old. Nine years old. Yeah, you can read this and he quickly will wake up. Okay, so built by Madame Bandara. Madame Bandara. Ah, Bandara, where era Lama Paramuna in memory of that lion, he lion-hearted child hero. Okay, so tell me a little bit about him. He's a child hero. Father was a minister during the King Jin period. Okay. The minister said my mistake to the king and he jumped in somewhere. Okay, he's getting angry when he cut the man, but he's missing. The king would have cut it, all the family, cut the neck. Wow. At that time, he comes to the front, and he said to his brother, don't worry, brother, I don't know how to die. He gives the cut his neck. He become a child hero. Oh, so he, he, he was killed? He killed, killed. Wow. A very rude king, yeah. that king called by the beauty, and put the jail in India. Wow. Okay, so who killed the child? Executed. Executed by who? The kings. The kings. Kings executed. Wow. Okay, so that's a child hero here. Right, that was executed by the king and he was only nine years old. Oh. This happened on the 17th of May, 1814. Yeah. Very okay. long time ago. Yeah. Wow. How is my English? Very good, very good. <laughs> All right. So how many temples have you been in Sri Lanka? Uh, so far, I've only been to. Uh, this is my second temple here uh, in Sri first Lanka. One? First one was in Colombo. Nangarama Temple. Yeah. Okay. So, this is calling this tree calling Cannonball Tree. Cannonball Tree. Buddha born in India under the Cannonball Tree. Okay. He became a Buddha under the Cannonball. He died also under the Cannonball Tree. Okay. We are calling. What a nickname we are calling Fika Religiosa. Fika Religiosa what a nickname. All right. We are calling Salmali Avalangas for the Cannonball. He born under the 
in India. Okay. So this is like a sacred tree in Buddhism. That's right. The Buddha was Not born. Secret, sacred. Sacred, yeah. Sacred tree in Buddhism. And yeah, so the Buddha was actually born under a tree like this. It's called the cannonball tree. The cannonball tree. Alright, so that's very, very interesting, okay? Flag of Buddhist. Flag of Buddhist. This color, this meaning. Okay. Blue Buddha hair. Blue is the hair. Yeah, not the head. Okay. Yellow Buddha skin, gold color. Okay. Red Buddha blood. Okay. White Buddha teeth and eyeball. Right. Orange is the bone marrow. The bone marrow, okay. The circumnation color with a light type of like aura. Right. No aura. Yeah. Symbol of the Buddhist. Right. How nice. Yeah. Because the guy do not know many things. Mm -hmm. They don't know nothing. Something is better than nothing. Of course. Come. Let's go, let's go. Alright, so that's interesting with the colors there. Yeah. Of what we learn about uh, Buddhism, the Buddhist colors. So that's very, very important. Oh, so illuminating, okay, Buddha body. Yeah. Have a shiny. Okay. Buddha lifestyle. All right. So how long have you been a guide here? Thirty-five years. Thirty-five years. Yes. Wow. So, currently, we are calling Candy World Heritage City. World Heritage City. Okay. Why you know all the religious monuments over here? I'm going to show you. Four in one. Okay. We are going to the Buddhist temple over there. Front of that Buddhist and Hindu temple. Okay. This is Catholic church over here, can see. Okay. This is the Hindu temple. Buddhist temple. Buddhist temple, yeah. All religious monuments together. Wow. One place. One so we place. are called the World Heritage City. Wow. So it's called a World Heritage City. There's a Buddhist temple. There's also a Hindu temple over there from what you said. Catholic. And there's also a Catholic church. So there's not also a mosque? Also a mosque, also opposite that. Okay. Four in one. Right, so all the religious faith is represented here. All represented here. So that's very interesting. That's a man-made lake, okay? Okay. Man-made lake. All right. 18th century, last king period. In the 18th century, they made that lake? Yeah. Wow. This is Sri Lanka national flower. Oh, Sri Lanka national flower. Call it blue water lily. Okay. So Sri Lanka a... national tree. This one. Okay, what's the name of it? Iron wood. Iron wood. So this is Sri Lanka's national tree. Wow. And this is a blue water lily here, what these ladies are carrying. That's right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Come to here. The Munima, the lady from India, yeah. she brought Buddha to India or Sri Lanka hiding in the hair. Oh, what, what, what was she hiding yeah. in her hair? She brought the Buddha to India or Sri Lanka, yeah. not in the pocket, hiding in the hair. Wow. That's okay. right. So can we go see? Sure. Name Hemamala. His yeah. name is Hemamala. Hemamala. Name. Okay. That's interesting. So let's see what the, this image here is like. Have a look at that. Okay. All right. So they so they were originally from India. Yeah, originally from India. Okay. And uh, they're the ones that brought Buddha to Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka. Is it the baby Buddha or the the religion itself? The religion, religion. The religion of Buddhism. As Buddha died, yeah. he made the body. Okay. And found the tooth. One is human world, one is India, one is heaven. Right. Three is left, and the third disappeared. Right. This is the one of the miracles. Right, right. How nice. Okay. So that's interesting here. Yeah. So we're learning about how Buddhism came here to Sri Lanka now. These uh, people here were instrumental in bringing Buddhism to Sri Lanka. And like my guide was saying, um, they are originally from India. All right. Let's go. That's interesting. You learn something new every day. That monument, can you see? Yeah. Buddhist monk. A Buddhist monk, okay. Can you see the flag? What is that flag? Um, I don't know what that flag is. Maybe you could explain to me. You, what is the color? It's uh, white and red. Yeah, and, and yellow? Blue. And blue. Oh, wow. Can I go here? Yeah. All right. So 
this is a uh, image of a Buddhist monk. Okay. That's very interesting. Okay, so tell me a little bit about this yeah. Buddhist monk. So, name, Venerable Sri Sumangala, name of the Buddhist monk. Okay. When we became a British colony, right. we would have put up the flag. British flag. British flag, yeah. He get angry. He pulled it down and trampled it courageously. Oh. Now, the court even put to the jail in Japna. In, oh, he was put to jail in Jaffna? Jaffna. Okay. Don't, don't kill, put to jail in Jaffna. And did he, did he, where did he die? In Jaffna. In Jaffna? Yeah. Oh, he died in jail? In jail, jail, oh. died in jail. Okay. Name Sri Sumangal, okay? Sri Sri Sh Sh Illumination. Illuminated? Sumangala. 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 Okay. So that is Sri Sumangala. Yes, Basically, what you're seeing there, he got the British flag on his feet. So he was known to kind of go up against the colonialism. So that that's him tearing down the flag. And for doing that, he was sent to prison in Jaffna. Jaffna is a city in northern Sri Lanka, right? And he was sent there in prison there and he died in jail. But He's still remembered for his stance against colonialism here in Sri Lanka. Okay, okay let's go, sir. So in Sri Lanka, most people are Buddhist? Of course. How much percent you think? 77% Buddhist. 77% Buddhist. I kept that uh, Hindu, yeah. Islam, yeah. Catholic. Mm -hmm. that okay. So 77% Buddhists here in Sri Lanka, guys. Yeah. The rest are Catholics, Hindu, and uh, Muslim. So that's very interesting. We're learning a bit more about it. All right. So we're walking up to a very beautiful looking building here. So, this is the Temple of Truth. Now in front of the Temple of Truth. Yeah. That's called Octagon, a corner. Mm -hmm. King period observing room. Currently, Buddhist Book Library now. There are many entrances over there. Tamil terrorists make the human disaster. You heard about that? No, I haven't heard 1998. about 1998. 1998. Okay. Go blocking over there, many entrances. 30 people died at that time. Wow. All that, they may around the fence, around the temple now. We have a fence, like that fence. We have to protect it. Now, no more terrorists now. Okay. All are finished. All right. So guys, basically this is a, it's an octagon? Octagon, octagon eight corners. Eight corners. King period, this is observing room. Yeah, it's like an observing room. Yeah. And he also, that's this building right in front of me. Over here, he said in 1998, there was a bomb blast here. 1998. And 1998, and 30 people lost their lives. However, now there isn't these kind of problems here anymore. So yeah, this is it. This is what we're seeing here. A lot of people are walking around and they're heading towards inside the temple which is the temple of the toot all right so this is the lake which is i've been told it's a man-made lake so it's literally right in front of the temple here very relaxing it kind of even got like a island in the middle there with two palm trees very tiny island and uh, there's boats here as well and over there that's the place where a long time ago they said that one of the kings the last kings of um here in sri lanka used to have his baths and if you can see in the distance that white image you see and that's actually a sculpture of the buddha and up there is a nice place you can go and get a good view of the city here in sri lanka not in sri lanka here in kandy the city of kandy so a really nice peaceful environment very good vibe here good so yeah this is pretty much it guys in terms of the uh temple here and from what i've seen so this is my guide here we'll have a little chat with him what, could you remind us of your name gamaj gamaj my name is gamaj gamaj and gamaj how long have you been doing this tour again 35 years service. you've been doing it for 35 years so quite a long time yeah half of my life half of your life okay and what for in your opinion what's some of the best a uh, thing someone could do when they come to Kandy. They have to see the Temple of Two. Temple of the Two. Very important place. Very important. Anything else you'll recommend? That's all. You have to go to the, to the mountain. 
Honey Roma viewpoint. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You heard oh. about that? Yeah, yeah, I heard about that, yeah. From the lake we go up. Okay. By tuk -tuk. So uh, he recommends that you definitely visit the temple of the two if you come to Sri Lanka. That's what we've just seen there. And also checking out the viewpoint here in Kandy. Thank you so much for giving us a tour today. You're welcome.